Hey Taurus, welcome to Queen Air, the new tarot. Today we are going to do your beginning of April general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So Taurus, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Love Should Have Brought You Home by Tony Braxton. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. So the first message that I got with that is that for some of you all, you could be dealing with someone who has a different emotional compass than you do. Um, I picked up a message that for some of you all, you could have had a falling out or some type of disagreement or argument with your person. And this person may have left the house in a way to kind of defuse the situation or de-escalate the situation. But to you, you kind of felt like that was immature or your person may feel like that about you. Now, for those of you who don't physically live with this person, it could be that you feel as though if we are, you know, compatible, if we're supposed to be in a relationship, we're trying to make this thing work, you should have came to me. Because in the lyrics of the song, in the hook of the song, she says, love should have brought you home last night. You should have been me. You should have been with me. You should have been right by my side. If you cared anything for me, then love would have brought you home last night. Now, again, back to what I was saying, even if you and this person don't physically live with each other, you know how people say their person is their home. That's how some of you all may feel. Like if you truly and genuinely appreciated me in our relationship you should have came to me don't avoid me don't talk to another person about the situation me and you should have talked mono we mono face to face and dealt with the situation head on but you may be dealing with someone again their emotional compass may be different than you where you want to deal with things head on this person wants to let things simmer or you know just kind of let things play out a different way before they actually address the situation but i feel like this may have been a bit of a deal breaker for either you or your person flip it how it applies with the situation okay um some of you guys could be dealing with it uh cancer Pisces, scorpio aries leo another taurus like yourself scorpio or aquarius okay and i did say scorpio but i'm just bringing that up because you did have the world card okay i just want to show you the cards that were at the very back of the deck and you guys know i always shuffle the cards and i will be doing that in a second i shuffle the cards before you know i get into your reading this is definitely someone that a lot of you all have history with with the six of cups you could possibly have a child or children with this individual um this person could definitely be your life companion your spouse okay because for every emperor there's an empress vice versa same sex how it applies twin flames is what this energy complies with but also if you don't resonate with that energy this is just someone that you have a life with for a lot of y'all so a lot of y'all can be married to this person or you've been with this person so long it feels like a marriage and then the card before that is the world card so it definitely gives me a vibe that there's some type of movement like somebody may have left because of an argument a disagreement the world card talks about four movement, a cycle ending, so a new cycle can begin. Now, with the world, it talks about a distance, and this could be physical or emotional. And I am getting emotional because you do have cups here, and cups is the emotions and feelings. I just feel like overall, somebody may be stubborn because you do have the emperor here. Somebody could have been very stubborn in their approach to dealing with the situation. But I do feel like there's going to be healing here because if you notice at the very top, you have the star. And the star card in tarot talks about wish fulfillment and healing. And this does resonate with the energy of Aquarius, which is a star card in tarot. So some of you guys could be dealing with an individual who's an Aquarius. Or more than anything, like I said, there could be some healing in a situation with you and your person. I'm just going to tuck these cards in here randomly. So if we get them again, we're meant to get those cards, okay? So we're going to change the card at the top and the bottom of the deck. We would do the same for your clarifying deck. And as always, there's absolutely no reversals in either one of the decks right now. But once I start shuffling, if we do reversals, I will read it as such. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you have Six of Wands. And then I just say, I feel like there's going to be healing, okay? Six of Wands, victory, success, obtainment, achievement, um, some type of victory in the situation. But also for some of you all, because you guys know this is a general reading, so it can apply to many people. For some of you all, this person just wants to win at all costs. You know, there could have been some fiery words that were exchanged because, you know, wands is fire. You could also be dealing with Leo, Sag, Aries, strong Leo with the six of wands. And I've been saying this since this year started, and I probably will continue to say this until the end of the year. 2022 is a six year. So to have the six of wands, it's like this is something that's going to be a topic that you guys are going to deal with throughout this year with this individual um, that we're dealing with, okay? This person could be a little bit younger than you. Or you could be younger than them with the Page of Pentacles. But I feel like what I'm getting right here, you see how he's riding in the direction of the Page of Pentacles? Somebody may be coming with some type of peace, peace offering. You see he's holding this Pentacle, and the Pentacle holds value. So someone is coming with something of value. A, I feel like for some of y'all, it's going to be a bit of a peace offering. You may be doing this because you do have, you know, Earth energy here. Taurus, could be a Virgo or a Capricorn if you are dealing with that individual. 
you are your person's first, middle, last initials could be C, M, W, H, U, or K, okay? So we're going to go through the deck until we get you guys Major Arcana, which is the hair font. We will get the card that comes before and the card that comes after and clarifiers for both. You have the Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy right here. Someone could definitely be pregnant or you could be the mother of someone's child. That's what I'm getting there, okay? Ooh. So you just have the Queen of Cups. Now at the bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Swords. Okay, Ooh. Okay. so what I'm getting right now is that someone could be thinking that their person didn't come home or their person has been non-responsive because they could be involved with another female. Or I'm also getting very strongly that there could be a mother figure in the middle of a situation. Ooh, look at that <laughs> before I even have to shuffle. So you have two kings, I mean two queens and a king. Leo says Aries energy here. Uh, somebody could be thinking that someone is cheating and this is why this person didn't come home. And that is the song, what the song is typically about, mainly about, um, with the Tony Braxton song, Love Should Have Brought You Home. Someone feels as though they, ooh, okay. And this is going to be very specific. But with that Queen of Cups and she does look pregnant, some of you all, if you're a female, you may think that your person, if you're dealing with a male, this person is still dealing with the mother of their child or the baby mama, something like that. But, um, and again, that won't apply to everyone. Yeah, somebody feels as though someone's keeping their options open with the Seven of Cups. Could be a July Cancer because you do have Cups here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and you already had the Queen of Cups. So someone could be feeling like their person is keeping their options open. And this is why they're not connecting with them the way that they should. Okay. Bottom of the deck, absolutely. Five of Wands, conflict. So that's what I said. I picked up in the beginning. There could have been some type of argument or disagreement between you and your person. Somebody could have had words with someone's um, baby mother, baby father, whatever the case. It just seems like with the Five of Wands, there's a lot of conflict here. And there's too many people involved. Okay. So let's see what we get. I'm going to go through the deck and get you guys, again, your major arcana. This is the hair font. We will get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. Four Taurus. I almost said Libra, so some of you guys could be dealing with Libra. Individual, <laughs> just I said that I've seen the Ace of Swords. So if you're dealing with a Libra, this could be big Libra energy. In other words, like this person makes a big to-do of things. And look how far we've gotten the deck before we got your card. Yeah. We're all the way at the end of the deck, okay? So this could be going, this could have been a situation that's been going on for a while. So right in front of that, you have, absolutely, Four of Wands, marriage, commitment, union. So some of you guys could be married to this individual. And like I mentioned before, there could be a child or children involved in the situation. And you see how he's walking right in his direction? I'm also getting for some of you all, there could have been strong talks about marriage and commitment, but then something happened that caused some type of interference. Yeah, somebody may have felt like someone was being manipulative with the magician here. Virgo also Gemini energy. And that may have put a standstill on forward movement. Okay, because Seven of Pentacles, she's not moving forward, but she's also not moving away either. She's just at a standstill. And this could be your energy because this is Pentacles. But I feel like, I'm going to say again, I feel like this person is going to come back towards you. All They're both going in the same direction. So this person wants to marry you or you're already married to this person. There's some, you know, there's a union here. Definitely a union here. And I did say in the very beginning that I feel like somebody's going to come with a peace offering because they, they value you. Okay, there's definitely energy of someone valuing you, but they chose the wrong course of action when it came to dealing with conflict. And I know it has to do with conflict to some degree because you did have the five of wands and now you're starting off here with the four of wands. So from the five to the four is going down, that's de-escalating. That's why I said, I feel like some of you are dealing with someone who is, they see emotional things very differently than you because cups is the emotions and feelings and a knight. Okay. A knight is always either going into war or coming out of war. And this person looks like he has his cup up like there's some type of victory or wanting to give some type of peace offering. And that's what I'm really getting there for sure. Bottom of the deck, yeah, there was some arguments, disagreements, somebody's heartbroken. And if you listen to the song, Love Should Brought You Home, that's exactly what she was. She was heartbroken. You know, she was devastated about how something played out. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and park the deck. Hangman, stuck in limbo. And that goes back to what I was saying about the um, seven... Oh. Look, and I was looking for the Seven of Pentacles. You got the, ooh, Ten of Cups. Now, if this is not a same-sex relationship, you guys always know this is my woman-to-woman, -woman, Barb and Shirley, two women comparing notes about someone that they have in common. I was looking for the Seven of Pentacles because it was at the back of the deck. I guess once I shuffled it, it changed positions. But whatever the case, someone's stuck in their mind, not sure about what to do, whether they should let go of the situation or kind of hang on and wait for things to kind of chill out. And I just heard freeze over. And when I think about freeze over, you know, of course, that's cold. Like somebody felt as though somebody reacted coldly to the situation or coldly towards them. Let's get a clarifier for the four of wands. You got the king of swords. 
So someone definitely said something that was quite hurtful or very abrasive or aggressive. Because the King of Swords, look at his face. This person is very aggressive. They definitely have a lot to say. You see how big that sword is? And swords is communication, also mental. So someone said a hell of a lot. And I think that I feel like this person realizes, oh wow. I remember I said big Libra. Look at that. Look how big that sword is. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with someone who has strong Libra in their chart. But this person is gonna come back in. I'm, I'm hearing peace offering. I keep hearing that over and over again. Just seeing the nine of pentacles, which is a single woman, single man. This person does not want you to be single. Because you are pentacles. And this person knows that you are like seconds away from walking out of that damn door. Or out of their life in general. Okay bottom of the deck you have the two of swords so this is someone who is indecisive okay oh, right she's already guarded and protective look at that i said this earlier big libra so for a lot of you guys this is gemini libra aquarius but i keep getting strong libra energy this person is very guarded and i'm really getting i know this is gemini but i'm, I'm getting very strong libra because you know how the libra scales is two scales and she has those two swords. I'm getting that somebody is definitely very guarded about a situation, not sure what to do, feeling stuck between a rock and a hard place. And I feel like not being able to make a decision, not being able to move forward or backwards or whatever the case. Source communication and mental. So someone is definitely in their head, but they may not be speaking about how they truly feel right now. This could be you or your person is what I'm getting here. Let's get a clarifying for the four of wands. And actually, I want you guys to see this. These cards are actually quite beautiful. Okay, this is not a bad combination of cards. This is quite beautiful. You know, but it just seems like there was some disrepair. And with that three of swords that we got, I feel like someone is heartbroken because they felt like whatever was said or done, it may cause an infinite, like an indefinite ending. You know, but I feel like this could be restored. Let's get a clarifier for the four of wands. For Taurus, Sun, Rise, and Venus. Some of you guys could also be April because you do have the Four of Wands here. Some of you guys could be April, specifically April Taurus. This is not just for April Taurus, but I am putting that out there. Also, this could be happening in April. Also, because we have the, imp um, the Emperor in the beginning, some of you guys could be dealing with a April um, Aries. So the first card that flipped out here. <laughs> So you have the Empress in reverse. So this is definitely like, this is definitely someone who's married. Okay, again, I'm going to say if you're not literally already married to this person, there could have been talks about marriage, but somebody may feel like something is off the table now because of some type of disagreement or argument. Again, with the Empress, you have Taurus, Aries, and also Libra. Like I've been saying, Libra energy, very strong Libra energy here. Some of y'all could have been celebrating, getting ready to celebrate an anniversary in Libra season, which is September, October bottom of the deck you have the six of pentacles in reverse so i'm gonna say again for some of y'all it is like a shirley and barbara situation where this person may have been juggling someone else because you have one two three people here and i keep telling you something with the scales this is an earth sign card but you got those scales something with libra okay um something is not balanced you got one two three people here and by the third party there's three pentacles so somebody could have been involved with a third party situation where someone is assuming that someone is because you do have this in reverse now, right, he is giving crumbs to a third party in reverse. This may, be, this may be all in your mind or your person's mind. Someone could immediately just instantly felt like, okay, if you're not here, who are you with? You're with somebody else. You know, that's what I'm getting here, okay? Let's get a clarifier for the Knight of Cups, okay? Flipped up very quickly. Knight of Cups, you got the King of Cups, wow. So, yeah, and I want you to see these two strong energies. You got a King and an Empress in reverse, and look at them. She, her back is facing him, but she's kind of slightly, her head is slightly facing his way. So I feel like there's going to be a reconciliation or you guys are going to talk about it. But right now, somebody is being a little emotionally aloof and emotionally immature. Okay. Now here's the thing. Even when in reverse, upside down, he's facing the Knight of Cups. So somebody's trying to think of how they're going to come back towards you. Because I feel like they feel like they fucked up royally. Pun intended because this is a king. Somebody felt like they fucked up royally. Okay. Um, they were very emotionally immature. Kings and queens reverse are negative. These people are, they feel like they have been stripped of their title, dethroned. They're not very grounded because, of course, he's upside down, so he's not grounded. So someone said something when they were in their emotions. They may have felt like they needed to go on an attack. Because, again, knights are either going into battle or coming out of battle. This person felt as though they had to defend themselves at all costs. And they're realizing that this could possibly make things in between the two of you all. Some of you guys could have been away from this person for, what, three weeks? Three days or three weeks, you do have three right here with the Empress. The last three days or three weeks, you may have been away from this person, possibly even four, because you literally have here three and four. 
So you could have been separated from this person from for three days, going on four days, three weeks, going on four weeks, possibly three months, going on four months for some of you all. But I feel like this person wants to come back into your life. They're, they're realizing that they were being immature emotionally. And I feel like they want to make peace with you is what I'm getting here with this energy. Most definitely. Okay. So Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, the Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.